And what was great-great-grandpa wearing on his head? A stovepipe. Ah, I knew I'd get you. It was a stovepipe hat. Oh, a hat to him, maybe. Yeah, but say, who was that cute little chick in the blue poke bonnet? I'll tell you, Dan. While going through my treasure chest, memories seem to stray. I came upon two souvenirs that spoke of yesterday. A blue poke bonnet and a stovepipe hat. They got together for an old-time chat. In chapel talk, they whispered this and that about the long ago. The conversation took them way back when a turkey feather was a fountain pen. Your next door neighbor lived a mile. That's when a sweetheart was a beau. Lovers made love in the good old-fashioned way. Pardon my glove, Grandma used to say, when the one-horse shade was very smart, but olden days are gone, and only memories will linger on. If you will listen, you will hear them chat, a blue poke bonnet and a stovepipe hat. Bonnet and a stovepipe hat. They got together for an old time chat. In chapel talk, they whispered this and that about the long ago. The conversation took them way back when a turkey feather was a fountain pen. Your next door neighbor lived a mile. That's when a sweetheart was a beau. Lovers made love in the good old fashioned way. Pardon my love, Grandma used to say when the one horse shade was very smart, but olden days are gone, and only memories will linger on. If you will listen, you will hear them chat. A blue poke bonnet. 